Hey, Jamie, this one's for you. I know you'd asked me about what got me, what gets me excited about the work that I do, particularly my people with movement disorders uh, like Parkinson's and dystonia and multiple systems atrophy and, and multiple sclerosis. Uh, so to answer your question, I'll go back to my experience. So going to the University of Guelph and studying human kinetics was awesome. The first two years were boring, I won't lie. All the general sciences and maths were not exciting. And also at the time I was dealing with a bunch of injuries and pain that was keeping me up at night. So uh, once we started to get into the applied part of the course, so learning about gait and learning about balance and learning about kind of movement patterns, I started to get an interest in my own uh, patterns. And I, with, with the help of some other practitioners, got myself out of pain and back into performance, which was awesome. So I understood the power of movement in my context. Uh, but then when we started to explore balance and gait more specifically, I just became fascinated with the little things you could do to, to tweak balance, like having a finger on something and how much information you get from your surroundings, which then led me to kind of start to appreciate or start to learn about movement disorders uh, and what a, a tremor might do to balance or kind of how the neurological system worked with the rest of the body and how strength informed neurological development. And so the, the geeky side of things got lit up a little bit, uh, but I really didn't take it seriously or appreciate the integration until uh, luckily a client came into the gym I was working at, at the time and he had a movement disorder, uh, Parkinson's specifically, and he wanted someone who had a background in kinesiology who could help him read research and create an exercise program for him. And that's what we did. I, got, I said, Scott's your, your guy. I think you really enjoy working with him and he can help you build that. And so we did. And it's been 10 plus years of just uh, a treat. Um, so working with, with that individual led me to just dig into the research more. And he's a great resource for books. And he's a former Health Canada uh, employee. So he's no, um, no slouch doing research and, and sending me stuff all the time. So it's been a great relationship that's helped foster my learning. Along the way, I've hooked up with his uh, movement disorder specializing neurologist and a couple other clinics in the city of Toronto. So it's been just a nonstop learning voyage, which has just kept my brain alive also. Another reason why I like working with this group. But um, fundamentally, I think what the most exciting part is for me is I understand uh, and believe in the value and power of exercise as, as, as medicine, as a, a tool for change and improving health and performance and those things. But as much as it's important for all of us, it, um, it's that importance is, is amplified like it's on steroids for people with uh, neurological de de degenerative disorders and diseases. Um, because that, that motor learning part, that getting good at skill is being degraded or compromised or are affected with. So the importance of doing consistent repetitions and challenging enough so that you really develop that motor learning sequence. I think reading the talent code was another piece that kind of really tweaked me towards kind of doubling down on this, this area. Yeah, once you appreciate that motor learning process and, and all the neurotransmitters involved and, and just what repetitive exercise and repetitive movement, let alone more intense, like 30, 23 percent more than you think you can intense movement can provide. Not only is it how I like to move and be in my body, to know that that's therapeutically valuable and an effective dose for people is uh, it's just super gratifying. Uh, and then to see their performance outcomes, to see working with... Uh, uh, older Canadians, you know, that 50 plus is generally when they're diagnosed and they find me maybe 55 to 65 often. I've worked with some younger onset um, Parkinson's patients also, but the, um, particularly with older adults, they're semi-retired or approaching retirement. So they're looking at this period of life where they're going to be able to do the things they love to do. And they can see something that might be in their way and they want some agency over those things that might be getting in the way of them enjoying life to its fullest. So again, that general ability for exercise to help us all in our mental and physical performance is just amplified on steroids for these individuals. So it, it makes the commitment to doing the work and staying consistent with it that much easier. So selfishly, it's a, a great population to work with because they're more motivated, especially once they start to understand things and see how they feel better and move better in a session, let alone over time. Uh, it's just a treat. It's just a treat. It's also hard um, emotionally because some people end up passing. They, they die in, in your therapy and care if, if you're with them for long enough. These degenerative disorders are, are um, yeah, are, are nasty when they, when they develop over time. Uh, but to work with people and, and say, hey, you know, I think you added three, four years to my life. I wasn't planning on being around this long and feeling this good. Uh, it's touching and I connecting with people is a big part of why I do it the way I do, I'm highly personalized and individualized. You get to be part of their lives, uh, which is beautiful.
Uh, it's touching to, to be welcomed into someone's life like that. And I, again, I think working with these individuals, they're, they're more open to yeah, developing real helpful relationships to help them grow um, instead of just surface ones around what they feel, look like necessarily. This is more about what they feel like and what they can do. So it's just been incredible and I, I'm only just getting started. I, I can't wait to find more professionals to work with in this space so that I can get better and we can do more and help more people find this sooner. Uh, yeah, it's just a... It's just awesome. So I don't know if that answers your questions about why or what gets me excited. There's so many of the parts of this get me excited. The motor learning, the skill development, the individuals and their stories and being a part of their story. Uh, yeah, just the power of lifestyle and intervention uh, around exercise as, as a kind of uh, fundamental kind of keystone habit to build off of. I think it's also just beautiful and works really well as the, the central point to stack these things on. Uh, what's nutrition or uh, sleep and rest and recovery. It's... Uh, that's a powerful way in. I'm just, I'm, yeah, I feel super lucky having found it and, and that uh, my client found me to, to get this ball rolling and, and that uh, I took the right program at school to get fascinated by this stuff. Anyways, we'll uh, talk to you soon.